Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, I'll be showing you how to make a stand for your fairy doll. I get asked a lot how I display my fairy dolls and I thought it would be fun to show you one of my favorite ways to display my cute little fairy dolls. So let's grab a few supplies and get started. And in this tutorial, I will show you a couple different options of ways that you can decorate these. So the first thing you're going to need are these little wooden spools. I found these at Hobby Lobby. They came in a four pack. And these measure about one and a half inches by two and an eighth inch. And then they have a three eighths of an inch hole right in the middle. Now these spools work great to display your dolls. If you'd like to decorate them, I'll be showing you a couple different ways. And for the first way that we'll be decorating these little spools, you'll need a ruler, some double-sided tape, and this is permanent, and a glue gun. And I've got mine set on low because it's easier to work with the glue. And you'll need a pair of scissors, and then you'll need some decorative paper. This is cardstock that I had left over from different projects. And you can use anything from this really pretty glittery cardstock to anything that has a pattern on it or something just plain. It was really fun to match up the different dolls with different paper that kind of matched the doll. So our first step, I'm just gonna trim this down a little bit and we're going to measure out a strip that measures about five and a half inches by about one and three quarters of an inch. I'm just going to draw a line so I can then go ahead and cut this little strip out. Now this will fit the type of spool that I sh uh, showed you in the beginning of the tutorial. If you find a spool that's bigger or maybe a little bit smaller, you'll want to adjust the measurements on the paper to fit that. So you can see the paper wraps around nicely and I like to check it before I start putting my tape on. So I just grab a piece of my double-sided tape, I put it at the very edge of my paper, and you can see I overlap the tape over the edges and I did trim that off. And then I'm going to line it up on my spool, press it down firmly, and tightly wrap it around the spool. And when I get to the other side, I'm actually going to use my glue gun. The glue gun worked a lot better than the double-sided tape, just because it seemed to hold that flap down better. If you would like to use your glue gun for the entire project, you can absolutely do that. And this is what your cute little spool looks like. So I found, for my little green and turquoise fairy, this fun paper that actually matched my fairy doll and really went along with the theme that kind of matched my doll. So there are a lot of different types of papers and different designs and so kind of keep that in mind when you're deciding how to decorate your spool for your doll. Now for my little New Year's Eve fairy doll, I just took a black piece of cardstock, wrapped it around my spool, and then I found these sparkly gold stickers and I'm actually just going to use the numbers and put on 2016 because this is my little 2016 New Year's fairy doll. So you can also personalize these with names or add dates. You do really have a lot of options as far as how to decorate your little spools. Okay, the next way I'm going to show you, we're actually going to paint our spool. So you'll need a few different things for this. In this part, obviously, you're going to need your spool. And then I have just some embellishments. These were little paper stickers that I got at Michael's. Um, I had some different little sequiny flowers and just any kind of embellishment and this is also a really good way to use up extra things from other pro projects that you have. So I just grabbed a variety of different things and I'm going to grab my paint and a paintbrush or a little foam brush and this is just an all-purpose acrylic paint and once again I got it to match my fairy doll and I'm just going to take a little bit of it and I'm going to paint around the wooden spool. So I start at the top and just put a nice thin layer and then I'm going to paint the rest of the spool just in an even layer. You could also use wood stain to decorate your spool if you would like. And after I've got one coat on it, I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to add another coat. So once it's completely dry, and you can see I made a gigantic mess on my hands. So once it's completely dry, I'm going to take my pretty little pink flower stickers and I'm going to put them on just around the base of my spool. 
and I liked that these colors were variegated. You've got the lighter pink, the medium pink, and the darker pink. And so I just placed them around the base, and that's it. Really, really easy, and it turned out so darling. And I added this to my little spring fairy doll uh, I, that has a cute little hat, and I thought this just really fit this doll perfectly. So obviously you could just paint the spool and leave it plain. Here's another one that I did for a different fairy where I just added one little fabric flower that had a little rhinestone glittery center and I thought it matched this fairy doll perfectly. And so you can really have a lot of fun matching up your fairies with different bases. And here's another example I have. These are just little felt embellishments that I also got from Michaels and also just a fun base for your fairy doll. So I hope this, guy, this gave you guys some really good ideas or at least a place to start. I'm sure that there are a lot of different ways that you can decorate these spools. They seemed to work perfectly for the fairy dolls. Her feet just fit right inside of it. It keeps her upright and it's a really fun way to display these dolls. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel and for all of the amazing feedback I get on the fairy dolls. I really appreciate it. If you have any comments or questions, please post those below. Also, if you have any fun ideas for decorating the spool or different ways that you display your fairy dolls, I would love to hear below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do give this a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you'd like to see other tutorials, you can find those at untidyartist.com or on my YouTube channel. And that's it guys. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.